So part of our goal here is really to help our communities better understand how they're performing, but also get some representative samples so Central Ohio can learn more about what's going on here in our community, um, how much recyclables is actually in our waste stream, and we're able to juxtaposition that with our waste characterization study and really have a lot more information to make accurate decisions, um, even potential opportunities for reducing costs overall if we reduce the amount that we're landfilling to. And so we're actually looking at what recyclables are being thrown in the trash that should be thrown in the recycling. So that study really gives you a holistic perspective on the entire residential waste stream and um, how we're performing. So there's about 60 overall categories that we're breaking this down into. And there's some kind of uh, larger subgroups. Um, those include things like our fibers and what we call like paper, cardboard, um, things of that nature. Our plastics, for example, which have a wide range of different types of plastics. Um, some of the biggest issues, for example, what we saw today are when people for bag their recyclables. You know, when they put a trash bag and they put their recycling in it and they put it in the recycling bin, a lot of that material never gets recycled because when it makes its way to the facility, they can't open it up, they don't have the time or energy to open it up, and they can't presume that it's recycling in there. So it might get put into the trash. Um, right now, uh, Central Ohioans landfill over a million tons of waste every year, uh, and so that's a significant amount of material. Um, ultimately, in the next couple of decades, that'll, that'll fill up our landfill. I think there was a point in time where everybody thought everything could be recycled, and that certainly isn't the case. And so I think we need to have realistic approaches to all of the materials in our waste stream, and recycling is always going to be one of those types of materials. Even as you look at some of the best practices around the world when it comes to recycling, it's still a main part of that. But you also have other programs that carry responsibility through not just local governments and communities and individuals, but also onto businesses who are creating these materials too. So I think that's a more holistic perspective to say, can we get the right policies in place, the right programs, the right type of education, and be able to manage our waste stream more effectively.